All right, everybody, welcome back. It's been a while. Now, if I could just figure out what happened to my mouse. Okay, there we go. All right, so it's been a while. I'm back. This is going to be an interesting series. I'm going to make a series out of this. So. For those of you who don't know, in Skyrim there's different weapons that you can get that are considered Daedric Artifacts. Well, one of them being the Wabajack. And the whole gimmick with the Wabajack is that it's completely random. You don't know what it's going to do at all. All you know is it's going to do something. So, the idea... And there's no level cap to get it. So, what I'm thinking is if I can get out of Helgen... And save up the money to get a carriage up to sky up to uh, solitude. I should be able to get the Wabajack right away, and then we can try and beat the whole game with it. Just it. So, I mean, it's an idea. We're gonna try it, see what happens. But it's just a matter of what happens or not. Now, of course, that means we gotta go through the typical intro. We're all brothers and sisters in mind now. Shut up back there. What's wrong with him? Watch your tongue. We're speaking to Ulfric. Yeah. If I could skip the intro, I would. So, yeah. Hey, what's up? So, we're doing a little bit of a challenge run, I guess you could say. We're going to make a series out of this. I already went over the details, but just sum it up. You can get a weapon called the Wabajack. It's random. So, we're going to get that and try to beat the whole game with it. So, right now, we're just going through the typical intro stuff. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've been live. Had a lot going on, but we're back. And hopefully going to be live a lot more. Look at them. General Tully is the military governor. And it looks like the Dalmar yeah. are with them. Damn elves. I bet they had something to do with this. I hate how slow this intro is. Takes forever. Wonder if Elon is still making that mead of juniper berries in his skin. Funny, when I was a boy, imperial walls and towers used to make me feel less sick. And it's been a while since I played Skyrim in general, so hopefully I remember the controls. I don't think it'll be too much of an issue, but I've been playing nothing but League of Legends and Guitar Hero, so this is a welcome change of pace. Let's go. Shouldn't keep the gods waiting for us. No, wait, we're not rebels. Face your death with some courage. You've got to tell them we weren't with you. This is a mistake. It was a flop when you saw your name. One at a time. Empire loves their damn lists. Ulfric Stormcloak, Jarl of Windhelm. It has been an honor, Jarl Ulfric. Raylock of Riverwood. All right, so now we're in the character creation. This really doesn't matter all that much for what we're doing because the Wabajack doesn't really have a specific effect with anything. 
So it's just a matter of what do we want as like our little uh, niche thing. So like resistance, cold, stealth. Um, stealth might be good. We might use that. Imperial for the extra gold would definitely be nice. We don't need to worry about regenerating magicka. Um, resistance to magic might be nice. Or we could just do my default and Yeah, we're just gonna go with we're just gonna go with Argonian. sure you remain so returned to Black Marsh. Follow the captain to his next destination. Okay. Now we get to hear the last rites, and then the dragon attacks. Oh, Frick Stormcloak. Some here in Helden call you a hero, but a hero doesn't use a power like the voice to murder his king and usurp his throne. You started this war. Plunge Skyrim into chaos, and now the Empire is going to put you down and restore the peace. What was that? Nothing. Carry on. Yes, General Collier. Give them their last rites. As we commend your souls to Aetherius, blessings of the eight divines upon For the love of Kalos, shut up and let's get this over with. As you wish. Fearless in death as he was in life. Next, the lizard. There it is again. Did you hear that? I said next prisoner to the block prison. Okay. Hold on, the cat wants out. Alright, we're about to get our head cut off. Man, they didn't even take the other guy's head out of the basket. <laughs> Alright, there's the jury. There's the dragon. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you. I've played Skyrim a million times, but I've never used the Lava Jack. I have no idea what it's gonna do. Like, I, I, I get the idea, but it's not 100%. And since this is just a challenge to see if I can do it, we're going to take the gameplay. We're going to at least bump it up to Apprentice. So it's not crazy hard to do, but it's not super easy either. Alright, we talked to Rayloff. Yep, and then we get right about here, back up. Jump through. Yep. Join the defense. God's guide you, 
Alright, so when we leave here, we're going to want to go with Hadvar. Because his uncle is the blacksmith in Riverwood. And you get the best gear from him. As compared to Rayloff. So you can actually get a little extra gold. And some decent stuff at least to start with. And we'll come down here. Alright. Alright, so that's the intro of the intro. Now we just gotta get through the tutorial area. But the problem is. Since we're only allowed to use the Wabajack, I'm not allowed to do anything that'll cause damage. So, this is going to be a matter of can I get through here without dealing damage to anything. I know it's possible. I just, I've never done it. Actually, we should be taking the swords and stuff. We can sell that, and we're going to need the money for us to get to Solitude later. Um, there's another sword we can take. So like I said, we're not allowed to do any fighting until we get the Wabba Jack. So we have to be very careful with how we do this. I just wish Hadvar would speed up. It takes forever. Okay. So now, stay back. Let Hadvar do the fighting. Yep. I feel bad not fighting, but Yeah, we're gonna keep getting the thing on how to fight. We can put the gauntlets on, at least, for now. Take all this gear. Because, again, we can sell it. And it'll help us get the solitude. I would love to get into the fight, but as per my made-up rules, I'm not allowed to until I get the Wabba Jack. And that's where the fun begins, because it's completely random. You don't know what it's going to do. It could heal them, it could kill them, it could... I don't even know what it could do. I've never really messed with it. Alright, so let Hadvar take care of these guys. Stay out of sight so that way they don't come after me. There we go. Alright, cool. So now we can grab some potions. Again. Some fork. That reminds me of another challenge I want to do. Apparently. Well, actually, it's not apparently. I've done it on PlayStation. You can get a fork and a knife that actually do damage. And you can use them as weapons. And I did it on PlayStation a long time ago. And it was a lot of fun. I want to do it again. But the only difference for that run was I actually allowed myself to use weapons until I got it. So... 
I didn't have to sit back and do all this like I am now. are better than the gauntlets. There we go. Don't make up for Although come with me, I may hear some odd noises coming from overhead. Come with us. We need to get out of here. We need we need all the gold we can get, so So this is just your fairly typical uh, intro to the game. The only difference is I'm not actually fighting. Hazbar, where are you even at? How did he get all the way up there? On head bar. Let's go. All right. Now the rest of this, I should be able to just run right through and not have to worry about it. What's up here? I don't think I've ever been up this path. Oh! It leads to this. Okay. Can't believe I've never actually checked that out. Spiders, I forgot about these guys. Come on, Hadvar, let's go. One head bar. Must 
Alright, and this part we can just run right through. I know that for a fact. And this is the last section of the area. We just walk right past the bear. And that's the tutorial without doing any damage to anything. No, we're not going to do survival mode. So that's just a lot. I think looks like he's gone for good this time. But I don't think we should stick around to see if he comes back. The closest town from here is Riverview. My uncle's his wife. I'm not sure if we have Okay, so in this case, we're probably going to want to take the Mage Stone. That would give us a little boost in our magic skills. Which means enchanting should be better, which would definitely help. So, let's just get to the Standing Stones. I installed some mods to make the game look a little better. And... It's kind of blocking some paths that I'm used to taking. <laughs> but that's okay. Take the mage stone. Yeah, stamina is low, but it regenerates. Yep, the wolves, but we can't fight them because we don't have a weapon that we can use. So we just run. Alright, we made it to Riverwood. That's actually pretty good time. 20 minutes for not doing anything and just... Change every day we... Had you? How do you not sit here? That doesn't sound... But that explains what I saw earlier. A drag to the yard of me. Yeah, we can we skip through all this. Like Alright, so now we take... Help yourself to whatever you need within reason. Take all that. Mm -hmm. And boots, iron gauntlets. Use those. Let's... All right. Go in here, sell our gear so that we get the gold and make a beeline for White Run. Yeah. Get the side quests so that way we can do it later. Okay. So. He's got all those weapons, but we're not allowed to use any. And then All right. Now, if you're going to get those thieves, you should head to Beast Vault. So now we just got to beeline it to White Run, which isn't a very long walk anyway.
Oh boy, more wolves. I would be very upset if I did the research wrong and I can't get the Wabba Jack right away. That would have just completely defeated the purpose of this whole stream. Oh god, that's a lot of fall damage from that. Whoops. Oh. Legia farm and the stables are right here so that means we can hitch a ride get this checkpoint though so that way we can come back Need a ride? like to hire a carriage uh, solitude 20 gold Okay, we're here in solitude. Yeah, definitely, definitely gotta try different things, you know, especially since I've played the game so much. I just like trying different things and seeing if I can make it work or not. I mean, uh, yeah, they're doing an execution here, but we're not worried about that right now. We need to go over here, talk to the madman. Usually. Usually walking around around here, I think. If I remember right. Sibyl Stentor has a grasp of magical theory that was never expected from a human, even a Breton. Okay, so where is our guy? Okay, so. Maybe. Just maybe. Need something? A man opens a gate and they cut his head off? Doesn't seem right to me. Maybe we gotta go in here and get the quest started. Uh, look up work guy leads. Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men hey, rumors. say there's a man wandering the streets near the Blue Palace. He seems distressed, but he's not making any sense. There it is. That's the cue we needed. Remember the winking skeever next time your foot's sore. That's the flag we needed to check in order to get in to the quest. Okay. There we go. Please, take... My master has abandoned me. Abandoned his people. Nothing I say can change his mind. Now he refuses to even see me. He says I interrupt his vacation. It's been so many years. Won't you please help? 
Last I saw him, he was visiting a friend in the Blue Palace. But no one as mundane as we are. No, no, such people are lonely. No, he went into the forbidden room of the palace to speak with an old friend. Said it had been ages since they had last had tea. Oh, and you need the hip bone. It's very important. No entering Pelagius's wing without that. Okay. No, why did I... Why did I open commands? Okay. So now we have to go to the Blue Palace. And get into the Pelagius wing. I've done this quest a few times already. I've just never actually used the Wobbajack that you did at the end of it. There we go. I had the wrong quest marked. Alright. Then to get into Pelagius' wing, you gotta come over here. Why is there so many quest markers? Watch your feet. Not in your life. It's dangerous in there. And Falk doesn't even like me and Erdy going in every year to clean out the spiders. If Erdy caught me chatting, I'd never hear the end of it. Oh, hello. Oh, I get in trouble for that. It's not allowed. Besides, it's scary in there. Don't mess anything up while you're here. Need something? Oh, I guess I should be getting back to work. It was more fun talking, though. Okay, so they're saying that they can't get me in. I'm saying that I can get in regardless. Because if... I need a key, huh? I'm afraid you must learn to accept this. Please, don't interrupt the court. Dude, just talk to me. Please, don't interrupt the court. Strange noises and lights. We need someone to investigate. Then we will immediately send out a legion to scour the cave and secure the town. Hafengar's people will always be safe under my rule. Your Eminence, my strongly suggested nothing in the area. Brackenbridge is under Imperial control. This is likely a superstitious nonsense. Perhaps a more temperate reaction might be called for? Oh, yes, of course, you are right. Falk, tell Captain Aldous I said to assign a few extra soldiers to Dragonbridge. Thank you, Your Ellis. What about the cave? I will have someone take care of the cave as well, Barney. But rest easy. You're dismissed. I am the Yarrow Steward. Did you have... Absolutely not. That wing has been sieged for hundreds of years. And for good reason. They say the ghost of Pelagius the Mad still haunts it. Ghost or not, there are reminders of his dark rule that are best left buried away. Feel free to return to me with questions. The Jarl is not to be disturbed with common affairs, of course. Okay. You direct those so, with that being said, I don't remember how to get in. Talk to Erdy. Talk to Una. Odar. Do I got a pickpocket? How do I? How do I sneak? Control. Uh. 
Maybe I gotta steal the key off of one of these guys. No. Okay, what what gives? Absolute. Ghost or not, the Jarl is not to be disturbed with. Of course, maybe. Maybe I gotta. She may. You do well to. That room. But we. Should they accept her rule? You mean that. That. I don't think it's worth our time with. Absolute. Ghost or not, there are reminders of his dark rule. Come on. Okay, give me a second. I gotta talk to one of the maids according to this but I did that and they didn't give me the damn key oh hello oh I get in trouble for that it's not allowed besides it's scary in there someday a gallant hero will okay come on Come on. It's dangerous in there. And Falk doesn't even like heavy and early going in and you're to clean out the spiders. That steel stentor scares us all to death. It's more fun talking though. Do you have business? Absolute ghost or not. There are reminders of the dark rule. What gives? Just won't get to keep the call. Okay, so I got a crap. Okay, looks like we're gonna have to break the rules because we gotta get this quest done first. So we gotta do Wolf Skull Cave. I thought you could just get straight into it, but oh, man, it's all the way up there. Are you kidding me? wish I didn't have to go through all this crap just to get it. I thought this was going to be a lot easier to start anyway. Whoa. Lagged out for a second there.
Now, this is definitely not the intended way of getting up here, but it will do. This is Meridia's... Oh, it's a fox. Yeah, that's Meridia's statue. Hopefully, we won't have to do that right away. Because that quest is just annoying. The goal for this stream is to at least get the Lava Jack. And I'll give like a little demonstration on how it works and then we'll move on to the next stream, which will probably be tomorrow. Take it. We'll use this for now. It'll do the job. Oh man. Soul gems, yeah, that's another thing. Staffs in these games require soul gems to be powered. If they're not powered, they won't do anything. Uh, Draugr White, are you kidding me? God, I'm not liking this. Not liking this at all. See, he's got ice spike. There's a lot of damage. Okay, so we're gonna swap to this. Does a little less damage, but you can get more hits in, which means more damage. Oh man, it's this one. I forgot about this one. Yeah, I gotta get down there without dying. There we go. Okay. I guess we gotta clear this out now. We'll save that level up for the moment. Turn me to this realm. 
Yep, now we use the level up, now that we're low health. And we want to increase our... Um, hang on. Where is it? Yeah, so we want Soul Squeezer. Which means we gotta get that first. I'm gonna die. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to die and start over. <sighs> That's annoying. And I used all my potions too. <sighs> okay, it gave me four of them back. Actually, since I have that. Might actually be worth using this. Wolf Queen, hear our call and awaken. We summon for Pema. We summon for Pema. Long have you slept the dreamless sleep of death. Summon. Save level up. I only have one stamina potion. Serious? Now we level up. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go with heavy armor. Cause that'll something is wrong. There is an intruder. <laughs> go 
Please don't be any more mages. There we go. Now we can do the Pelagius quest. Get me out of here. I do not feel like dealing with this anymore. Okay. So now we're done that. We can fast travel back to solitude. Okay, so now, why am I looking at oh, a bit of this and a bit of that? Come back to bits and pieces anytime. Since we don't need that anymore. Flesh and suits me. It's difficult and sometimes tedious. Anyway, you're a veteran. There you go. Give the veteran some money. Why not? I could have just fast traveled here. Probably would have been faster, but oh well. Now we can talk to Falk, get the key, and start the quest. You've returned, but Potena herself. Please tell me you stopped them. You've done a larger service to the realm than you could possibly know. A resurrection. I shudder at the thought. May the gods watch over your back, my friend. Absolutely not. Ghost or not, I'll make an exception for you. But do not bring anything out when you leave. Too many dark deeds transpired in this hall. Okay, cool. Like yours, now we can actually start doing what I wanted to do. No, I don't have business with the court. I want to just... Alright, then we just walk through here. And there we go. We are now in the mind of Pelagius the Mad. And my favorite character in, in Skyrim. Shia Gorath. He turned into a dragon god, and that's hardly supportable. You know, 
I was there for that whole sordid affair. Marvelous time. Butterflies, blood, a fox, a severed head, oh, 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 and the cheese! The diet. Argonian concubine! Ah, those are my favorites. Well, spit it out, mortal! I haven't got an eternity. Actually, I do. Little joke. But seriously, what's the message? Where are you now? By who? Wait! Don't tell me. I want to guess. Is it Molag? No! No! Tim, the toy maker's son, huh? Well, the ghost of King Lysandus? Ah, oh, or was it one? Yes, Stanley, the talking grapefruit from Passwall. <laughs> I'm wrong on all accounts, aren't I? Ha! <laughs> no matter. But honestly, I don't want to know. Why ruin the surprise? But more to the point. That's crazy. Oh, pardon me. What do you see? Something? I do apologize. It's just that I find myself suddenly and irrevocably bored. I mean me. Here you stand before Shea Gorath himself, Daedric Prince of Madness. And all you deem fit to do is deliver a message? How sad. Now that's the real question, isn't it? Because honestly, how much time off could a demented Daedra really need? So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave. That's right, I'm done. Holiday complete. Time to return to the humdrum day to day. On one condition. You have to find the way out first. Good luck with that. Is it? Care to take a look around? This is not, I dare say, the Solitude Botanical Garden. Well, I think it's where you are. Where you truly are. Welcome to the deceptively verdant mind of the Emperor Pelagius the Third. That's right! You're in the head of a dead, homicidally insane monarch! <laughs> now, I know what you're thinking. Can I still rely on my swords and spells and sneaking and all that nonsense? Sure, sure. Or you could use... You could use... Waba Jack, which is exactly what we came here for. Didn't see that coming, did you? All right. So, the Waba Jack. Completely random, and the key to solving this whole quest, I guess you could say. Oh, good choice! Well, good for me. I find everyone being out to get you so terribly entertaining. Uh. <laughs> you might find it less so. You see, Pelagius's mother was, well, let's say, weak. Although I suppose, in the grand scheme of things, she was fairly average for accepting. That woman wielded fear like a cleaver. Or did she wield a cleaver and make a little afraid? I never get that part right. Oh, but she taught her son well. Pelagius learned at a very early age that danger could come from anywhere, at any time, delivered by anyone. Oh, I thought you'd never figure it out. Okay, so that was an easy one. Under the delusion that he's safe, which means you've helped him out, sort of, and we're that much closer to home. So now we did that one. There's three different sections you gotta do. So that was the first one, that's probably the easiest one. You have headed down the path of dreams. Unfortunately for you, Pelagius suffered night terrors from a young age. All you need to do is find something to wake our poor Pelagius up. You'll find his terrors easy to repel, but persistent. OK, 
Okay. So if I remember right, all we gotta do is just do this a couple of times. search the chest cool so now we just have to do one last thing and then we should be able to get out of here with the wobble jack ah, now this is a sad path Pelagius hated and feared many things assassins wild dogs the undead Pumpernickel. But the deepest, keenest hatred was for himself. The attacks he makes on himself can be seen here fully. They're always carried out on the weakest part of his fragile self. The self-loathing enhances Pelagius' anger. Ah, but his confidence will shrink with every hit. You must bring the two into balance. Here we go. Here we go. Hit that guy. Yeah, there we go. Here we go. Wonderfully done. Ladies is finally ready to love himself. Here we go. And continue hating everything. Here we go. Alright, there we go. And with that being said, we have finished this. And we should be able to leave now with the Wabajack. succeeded and survived I am first to honor my end of the bargain so congratulations you're free to go bye there have been known to change my mind so go really okay Pelagius Septum the third once the mad emperor of Tamriel now so boringly sane I always knew he had it in him well, I suppose it's back to the Shivering Isles. A trouble Haskell can get into while I'm gone simply boggles the mind. Let's make sure I'm not... Yeah, we finally did it. It only took an hour, but we got there. Luggage. Luggage. Now, where did I leave my luggage? Master, you've taken me back. Does this mean we're going home? Oh, happy times. I can't wait to... Yes, that's quite enough celebration. Let's sing to it, shall we? As for you, my little mortal minion, feel free to keep the Waba Jack as a symbol of my... I'll just take it out. You take care of yourself now. And if you ever find yourself up in New Sheo, do look me up. We can share a strawberry tart. <laughs> and that's the end of that. And we can now start the main story. Now, there is one issue. Yes, the Wabajack is a staff. And it didn't run out of power while we were using it in that quest. But this bar right down here at the bottom... 
right above my stamina, that gray bar, that's the charge. And in order to keep it charged, we have to get full soul gems. Now, soul gems aren't really that hard to find. It's getting them, finding them full that's hard. Okay, where in the world am I going? No, I went the wrong way, that's why. But, so we have to get some soul gems. Now you're thinking, okay, that shouldn't be too hard. But, 90% of the time when you find them, they're empty. Where's the court wizard? Is there a wizard? Because usually they have them. If not, I have a backup. Yeah, I guess we're just going to have to use the backup. Because I don't want to start a mission and then run out of power on it. So. Gotta show you a little exploit in the game that you can do. So we have to get a Dawnstar. And hope that the trading caravan is there. Even if it's not there, I think it still works, but it helps if they are there because you can refresh it. But the way it works is... Well, I'll show you. We gotta come down here to the stables. Hitch a ride to Dawnstar. Need a, I can take you to where do you want to go? Climb and back and we'll be off. It's almost getting downright hot now. Sun feels good, huh? I forgot that doing that quest puts you in dress clothes. So I gotta put my armor back on. Okay. The caravan isn't here, but we're gonna see if it still works. Because if it still works, we should be able to get at least a couple. And that guy is just running for whatever reason. Divine safe, Scully. Who do you think we're threatening with our old world? Now, it looks kind of. It just looks like some rocks sitting here, but if you come over here and do it just right, you should be able to. Okay, I think the caravan has to be there, because normally it'll come up that there's a chest there. So let's wait. There's a caravan over here. This is the most annoying part of it, is just waiting for the caravan to be here. Because there's no real way to control it that I know of. Okay. Plan B. We find uh, 
Okay, so... I forgot there's no general store in Dawnstar. Figures. Alright, well, I guess that means we gotta go back to Riverwood, see if our buddy's got any. Once I get the soul gems, then I'll just call it, because it's been a little over an hour now. Okay, cool. He had one of those. Two thousand. A couple petty ones, I'll take those too. Um, apparel. Sell that. Sell that. Not selling the Wabajack, because that's the whole reason why I'm playing the game. Sell Plagius. Ah, oh, crap. Hit the wrong thing. Alright. So, now we have some soul gems. Which is exactly what we need to... Use the Lava Jack. So, starting next stream, which will probably be tomorrow, we will actually start the quest and I'll show you all what the Lava Jack actually does. So, I want to thank you all for watching. Let me quick save this real quick. And I hope you guys have a good night.